How to trade on Magic Sea. Starting from the landing page, navigate to the top right and click Launch App to launch. We're now in the Magic Sea app. By default, the app will launch with the trade page already open. Let's take a look at the top navigation bar to get an overview. Next to Trade, you'll also have Explore, Earn, Magic, NFT and more. Each one of these will be covered in future videos. In the middle you can see the token logos and prices of Magic Loom and Loom, the two protocol tokens of Magic CA. On the top right-hand side, you see the network that's currently active. On the far right, you can see the Connect Wallet button. You need a Web3 wallet in order to interact with Magic C. Let's connect with our wallet. I am using MetaMask, so I select MetaMask here. My MetaMask will open in order to confirm the transaction and connect to Magic C. Now I'm ready to trade on Magic C. On the trade page, you can see the trading interface positioned in the center. In there, you can see two large input fields. In the first input field on the right-hand side, you can select the token you want to sell by clicking here. A pop-up opens with all the tokens listed on Magic C. In my case, I want to trade my Shimmer tokens, which have already been selected, so I don't need to select anything here. In the second input field, you can select the token you want to buy or you want to trade to. On the right-hand side, by clicking here, I want to trade my Shimmer for USDT. It is here in the top right, as a common basis. Now I'm set up, I want to trade my Shimmer for USDT. The interface already shows me that I have 7,000 Shimmer. I can either max trade all my Shimmer, trade 50%, or I can go to the left-hand side and select specifically how many Shimmer I want to trade. In my case... I want to trade 1,000 Shimmer for USDT. Below it shows the dollar value of the token I'm trading. And what's the dollar value of the USDT I'm receiving? Below the exchange window, you can now see the router that has been selected to facilitate this trade. The trade goes directly from Shimmer to USDT using the Shimmer USDT pool. In the middle, you can see the trading fees in this pool that you have to pay. The trading fees are 0.3%. Below the exchange window now, a new box has opened. Here you can see the shimmer price per USDT. By clicking here, you turn this around and you have the USDT price per shimmer. As these are predicted numbers here, you always have an indication what the minimum amount of USDT is that you would receive. Also, you have the price impact, which in this case is 0%. The price impact is how much your own trade changes the price of the token you are buying. So I am trading my Shimmer for USDT. But the pool is so large that this has not a significant impact on the price of USDT itself and of the Shimmer token itself. So the so-called slippage is 0%. Below you have the total swapping fees of this trade, which are 3 Shimmer or 0.3% of 1000 Shimmer. Now let's facilitate this trade by clicking Enable Shimmer. You first need to enable Shimmer so you allow this smart contract to access the Shimmer in your wallet. You a proof and then you wait for the blockchain for the transaction to be executed successfully. Now that the token is enabled, you can click Trade to execute the trade. Here a pop-up opens that gives you a summary of the trade with the information we explored before already. I confirm the swap. The swap needs to be confirmed in the front end, but always in your wallet as well. The page will give you feedback that the transaction has been completed. You can now see your new balance of the two tokens you have. This was a simple overview of how to trade, but the exchange interface itself has more to offer, which is indicated by these little icons on the top right. With the first icon on the top right, you can refresh the numbers that are shown here. Next to it, you can see your transaction history. Here, you can see what transactions have been facilitated by the smart contract. You have approved your shimmer for trading, and you swapped 1,000 shimmer for roughly 14 USDT. Next, you have a settings icon. By clicking this icon, you can go into more advanced settings around trading. 
Advanced settings around trading will be covered in a future video. The last one here is a little graph, and the graph will open up a graph of the tokens you're currently trading. You can switch between a candle view or a line view for the graph, and you can choose if you want a daily or a four-hour or the hourly chart to make up your mind about the trade you want to execute. And that's how you trade on Magic C. Follow us on Twitter, check out our decks under magicsea.finance, and if you want to learn more, watch our other videos. See you soon.